Boozer just posted this photo on Twitter of Gunther and Seth Rollins in the ring, clearly teasing that something is going to happen tonight between those two. This didn't have a caption or anything, but we can make an educated guess. I think there's a chance that Seth Rollins can't make it to WrestleMania, so he wrestles injured like Cody Rhodes did with his torn pec and quickly gets dominated, making Gunther a double champion. And then Gunther could possibly walk into WrestleMania and headline against CM Punk. Another possible scenario is Gunther comes out to talk about how Seth Rollins is a weak champion, then he could proceed to beat him down, and that is when Damian Priest would cash in his briefcase and become the world heavyweight champion, and I think at that point, you would then set up a match at Elimination Chamber or on the Raw after the Chamber, where Seth Rollins would win back his belt and then defend it against CM Punk, and then he feuds with Gunther post-Mania season for doing that in the first place. That is a messy and uh, complicated option, but we do need to get rid of Senor Money in the Bank, and, and that might be the way, you know? Maybe Gunther wins the belt and defends it against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania while we get a singles match between Seth Rollins and CM Punk with no title on the line. Those are honestly the only three things I could see happening tonight based off of that tweet. There's also a chance, there's always a chance that absolutely nothing can happen, but my gut tells me we're going to see a Gunther and Seth Rollins segment in that ring tonight to kick off the show. What do you guys think is happening? Let me know in the comments below. It was announced today that we have three cover stars for WWE 2K24. The normal edition is going to feature Cody Rhodes all by himself. As for the deluxe edition, it's going to be Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair together. Something tells me that these two are wrestling soulmates and will go down to have a legendary feud between the two. 2K also announced that we're going to have 40 years of WrestleMania for the showcase mode. We're going to be able to play the best and most important matches in WrestleMania history over the last four decades. We should also expect tons of match types to return and also get introduced 2k is cooking up some good shit pal speaking of cody rhodes he said this to sports illustrated regarding his story and finishing it if i haven't finished the story by wwe 2k25 then don't bring me back for the commercial don't put me in the cover don't put me anywhere near it i won't deserve it this tells me that cody rhodes is either extremely confident that he's gonna finish his story and become the champion or he's about to be extremely pissed at wrestlemania R-Truth recently revealed that he feared that he was going to lose his career as well as his leg. This is a tweet from Russell Ops that sums it up very well. R-Truth feared that he would need amputation after going through complications from tearing his quad in late 2022 and ultimately fearing he'd lose his career along with his leg after his doctor suggested amputation as an option. He says that he had to have a wound vac and wear that for six weeks along with a pick line whilst spending months trying to kill an infection by going through surgeries and discovering the bacteria and hole in his knee that caused the infection. Along with MRSA, staff, and their cousins and kin folks, he had stitches coming through his knee out by itself so the body wasn't agreeing to them and thus had to go back into surgery for a third time but the infection was still there so I had to get another pick line as well. This seems like a gruesome injury and the road to recovery wasn't as simple as one would think. I'm really glad that he is doing okay and did return to the ring in WWE. This also shows you just how much these wrestlers are putting their bodies on the line just to entertain us. And it shows you just how much they love this business to get back in that squared circle after dealing with all of that. R-Truth always had my respect, but he got even more of it after hearing the story. He is one tough man. Speaking of injuries, Biggie was actually asked about his neck injury and a potential return to the ring. This is what he said. How's your neck going? You it's fantastic. all together. The bones connect to the other bones. So, yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, do you have any, you know, um, fear about getting back and... I just want to make a smart decision, you know. I uh, I didn't start wrestling to end up in a wheelchair, so uh, yeah, I want to make sure I'm just making the best decision for myself. I mean, do you think it'll be anytime soon? Just putting it out there. I don't have a timeline, unfortunately, but thank you for asking. Okay. That does not sound too promising for a potential return, but at the end of the day, it's all about his health. If he can't ever come back, it's nice to know that he's going to be able to live a healthy life. That's all that matters at the end of the day. I'm still clearly hoping that he can come back with some miracle without risking his health, but until then, then I'm happy to see him doing well and, and being in high spirits. And I still think that he could serve a nice role behind the scenes as maybe a producer, maybe a trainer, maybe an on-screen character. I don't know, but I think Biggie can contribute to this business without necessarily being in that ring. 
And finally, the last piece of news we have is according to PW Insider, Drew McIntyre has still yet to re-sign with WWE. If a new deal isn't signed, McIntyre would be free and clear right after WrestleMania 40. And that is concerning if you are WWE because he's one of your top stars and what he's been doing for the last few months has been some of the best character work I've seen from him and honestly pretty much anybody at that point. I would seriously lock him down and immediately push him after WrestleMania season. I say after WrestleMania because right now it's just too complicated with all the big names. You got CM Punk, Seth Rollins, maybe now Gunther. You have uh, The Rock, Roman Reigns. There's just too many people. You just can't put him in that match or a main event match. But he is the perfect guy to build this company around afterwards and for WrestleMania 41. So that's what I would do if I was WWE. Hopefully, this is all just a big work, making his character even stronger. Now it is with Triple H running things, you really, it's hard to believe what's true and what's not. If it's not, and he actually might leave, it's a shame WWE could possibly lose a superstar like him. If they don't re-sign him, I know that he'll flourish in any other company, whether that's AEW, Impact, or even New Japan if he wants to go down that route. Because with, uh, with Okada leaving, Drew McIntyre might take that spot. Anyways, here is a video of him talking about tonight's Raw and hyping up his match and talking about even Seth Rollins' injury and just things in general, because why not? I've just arrived. Motel room. Early hours of the morning, New Orleans for Raw tomorrow, and I've seen a full-grown man at the airport with his jeans around his ankles, peeing like a child. I could have done without that, but... And we were six days to the Rumble, and our champion's potentially hurt. And Seth, you gotta be careful when you call yourself a workhorse, because... The thing about workhorses is if you run too hard and you ain't actually winning, you get an injured wheel. I'll put you down, buddy, but that's a what if, not a what is. Let's talk about what is. Actually, let's talk about last week, myself and Cody getting the chance to catch up. Former tag team champions of the world, the dashing ones. Once again, Google it if you don't believe it's a real thing. You know, when we were younger, we really thought we could have done more within the system, and maybe we could have. But stepping outside the system, getting our heads screwed on, right, getting perspective, helped us become the men we are today. And as I mentioned, I set the blueprint, redefined what it meant to be an independent wrestler. Cody, he took it, put a spin on it, created a lot of jobs for a lot of our friends. And now, Matt Cardona is taking it in his own unique direction, which is awesome. But I still stand by everything else that I said. I think what we're seeing is a very clever act developed outside the company instead of the real person. The wolf in politician's clothing. The gratitude is real. The work ethic is real. Some of the other stuff, I don't know. I guess prove me wrong. But I'd much rather the silver tongue than Punk's poisonous one. Now, Priest, you idiot. One, stop wearing Rear's clothes. Two, once again, why didn't you wait till I beat Seth and I was champion and I was weakened to cash in? Why do you think you keep failing? Actually, on that note, maybe three, maybe I should take that briefcase from you and restore its credibility. Mate, I'm going to be you. But BS aside, I do see you as an important player in my vision for Raw. And I admire anyone that picks a fight with me. But you need to learn it's not all about all rising, but falling in line. It's about trusting someone who's led multiple companies, including this one. Your next world champion. Take it easy.